condition update, Ms. Ashley. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the board, Dr. Casey. Um, I'm here to talk to you this afternoon about a comprehensive volunteer recognition procedure. Uh, we wanted to give away um, volunteer services lives within CIR, and we wanted to make sure to give board members a way to recognize the people who do good work in our community, the volunteers that work within our departments and also that belong to civic organizations, nonprofits, and countywide. So we believe we came up with a, a good procedure to give a good start to that. So again, we want to provide county leaders and employees with some guidelines and standards that we can point them to a way when someone comes to us and say, we want to recognize this volunteer, how do we do that? That this procedure allows some guidance. And so within the procedure, we have five different ways of how to recognize a volunteer. Um, you'll see in this picture here, this is actually our Community Champions Award winners that we had last spring. That is one of the ways that we recognize our volunteers. But the first is it all starts within our departments, our department recognition. And so departments, they recognize their volunteers through a myriad of different ways. Some just do some on the spot for a one-time good job. Some have you know, training, award celebrations, annual celebrations. We have our Senior Volunteer Hall of Fame within CIR, Aging and Disability Services. We bring those senior inductees to you all each spring. And then Parks and Rec has a Volunteer Hall of Fame monument out in front of their parks where they have nominees that are, are awarded this award and then they have those names that stand there. And then also we want to make sure that civic organizations know that they can work through constitu constituent services that we can provide board letters for letters of recognition and um, good jobs and, and things like that. And then again, our community champions, that's our annual program that we have seven different categories all the way from youth to our seniors to group organizations that people can nominate a community champion and then we award those during National Volunteer Month each April. And we are going to modify that. Right now, we usually open up that application about March, but we want to have that application open all year round. So if somebody knows of somebody that's really, really great, that they can go ahead and nominate them. But then in March, we'll still do our campaign, and then that's when we'll bring our committee together to recognize these volunteers. So we have two new big programs that are within this procedure, and that's where I really want to focus and go more in detail on with our attention. The first is our volunteer service recognition. Uh, this program is directly tied to if you have volunteered with the county in a county department for 25 years. This is benchmarked against the employee retiree uh, BRIC program. Um, we want to rename the Greenway that's by the community development building that walkway into a volunteer hall of fame. And so we would have a, this walkway that you all see in this picture would have the bricks for these volunteers that they would receive a brick if they've provided 25 years of service related to that. Um, so then we also have our Chesterfield legacy volunteer. And this is really kind of what we want to be our highest, most prestigious award within the county. So within that volunteer Hall of Fame walkway where we have the bricks with people who have provided the 25 years of service, we also want to install benches. There's benches there now. And we would, this is an example of what the bench would look like, but it would say Chesterfield Legacy Volunteer and we'd have the placards. And so this was benchmarked off, off of the school's Bravo Awards, that this is something for us. And it, you would be nominated, people would be encouraged to nominate through Board of Supervisors or through CIR, and we would provide those nominations to you for approval. Um, and this is really those volunteers that they have demonstrated a community mindset, they're celebrated in their community, they're a role model, and they have vo prolonged volunteer service. So that prolonged volunteer service, it's that 25 year benchmark, but also some, they may have done 15 to 20,000 hours and not, you know, in less time than that 25 years. So they would be nominated to be this. So we, that volunteer walkway, this is where county employees currently, they take breaks, they have lunch um, during public service week and customer service week. This is where we have, you know, congregation of different things. So it's a really just positive space. It's very peaceful and nice to be around. So we just want to make sure that we can also recognize all these really great inspiring people in that same space. And of course, in National Volunteer Appreciation Month in April, we want to continue to recognize our volunteers 
All of you last June were a part of our recognition dinner. Um, we want to make sure that everybody from those department recognized people to our legacy volunteers are invited uh, to this board hosted event that we will have each spring um, that CIR will of course help to coordinate. So with that, are there any questions or comments? And I also want, before I get to questions and comments, I do want to interject. We, are, we would like to start this program um, with our auxiliary police officers that have their 25 years of service. So we already have some names in the hopper that we'd want to get this carried on with. So now, question. Board members, I think this is fantastic. We, uh, we need to recognize people who are giving back their time and talent and treasure to the county. And um, I think you've got appropriate benchmarks here uh, to recognize folks yeah i mean one of the things when you start going down this road is you know where where do you start and where do you where do you stop right and so uh, i think but i think you've this there, it shows some some real thought here so i, I want to applaud you on that mr carroll thank you um you know in, in in this day and age it's um we see volunteerism going away uh it's harder and harder uh, to get people to come out for our volunteer rescue squads and for other capacities throughout the community, and I do think um, uh, it does mean something, especially these volunteers who have committed so much of their life to come in and give so much back to our community for nothing. And so uh, I think this is a great way for us to say thank you and, and not just say it now, but even in the future when people sit at those benches and go, I wonder who this person was and what, what was their contribution, and maybe perhaps they'll be able to get their smartphone out, which may even look different than this year's from now, and go, oh yeah, this is who they were and this is what they did. And it's really great that the, that the county has recognized what their contribution was to, to the community while they were here. So I applaud the, the changes that you're doing. I think it's significant and I think it's, it's a nice way to say thank you to everyone. So I, I appreciate the efforts. Thank you. No, oh, Dr. Casey. And just to follow up, because that, that prompted a, a good thought too, you know, for for this walkway, you know, an appropriate signage so people who are coming by will know what this is. And, and, and again, maybe it's a QR code, some link to something that will give a little story about each one. Uh, likewise, I, I've also said, you know, you, you don't know what the bricks in front of the courthouse are for either. So uh, we probably need some kind of equivalent signage and, and link to, to, again, remember those that were before us and their time and tenure with, with their little story. And, and again, each of those by some, manner or means has some type of resolution that's in our board archives and uh, and again doesn't take much to uh, have that be a part of the archived inventory for easier access sure so the interesting thing is the um, you're right in the sense that if you look at someone's brick on the front at the historic courthouse you wouldn't necessarily know um, where they served but on the steps it is inscribed uh, the purpose of that a walkway is it is inscribed on the historic courthouse steps so there is at least some type of uh, uh, verbiage there to uh, uh, allow for people to understand that but you're absolutely right we're going to have to do something similar here uh, so that people understand what it actually is thank you so much